I swear by it. Do it. Don't make me come make you. Coach, how do I get better at my snatches? How do I get better at handstand walks? More toes to ball. Shoulders really hurt when I do my kipping pull-ups. Overhead squats are the worst, and I never want to do them. So many questions, and I have so many answers, but I will only give you guys one stretch to help you start making improvements on all of those categories. So, I have a lot of things right here. We are talking about your thoracic spine mobility. This guy. This is your lumbar spine, this is your thoracic spine, and a lot of us have some really tight T-spines that simply limit how far you can pull your hands back over your head. Some of you guys might even get stuck way out here, which doesn't make any sense to be able to do. Handstand walks or handstand holds, snatches, overhead squats. This is another one that not a lot of people think about is your kipping swing, your arch hollow kipping swing. Thoracic spine mobility is much needed to create a long, strong, and powerful kipping swing. Maybe this is something you can add into your training, your accessory work to help you get past having super tight, sticky shoulders and be able to get some more range of motion. Plate overhead T-spine stretch. I'm going to show you guys the variation that you ideally want to get to. Some of you guys might need to scale it down based on how tight you are. Are, but this is the stretch I give to every single one of my athletes. I got a med ball right here. I got a 15 pound plate. 15 pounds does the job of weighing down your hands without making it too uncomfortable or being too light. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a seat right in front of the med ball. Then you're gonna put your shoulder blades back on top of the med ball. This is what we don't want, where it's on your lumbar spine. Then I'm gonna have my plate in my hands. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press my hips tall like a glute bridge. Then I'll grab my plate and start reaching it back all the way overhead. And if you have some decent thoracic spine mobility, that plate will be able to tap the ground like so. Notice I don't have the plate flipped up like this. I want it kind of smushing my hands or pulling my hands back down to the ground. Take five big deep breaths right there and then drop the plate behind you. If you want more stretch, what you're gonna do is make sure your belly stays tight, but you're gonna start lowering your hips and pressing your face tall to the ceiling. Find that sticky spot, that's about it for me. Take some big deep breaths, and then you'll go ahead and relax. Make sure we're not doing this. You're trying to open up your shoulders. Try to do this stretch with the med ball and the plate. If you cannot get your plate to rest on the ground, we're not quite ready for the height of this med ball. Move over to a foam roller. Now align the foam roller with your shoulder blades or your upper back. Press your hips tall, reach the plate back. And the same rules, if you want more stretch, you can drop your hips down to the floor. If that is still too much, maybe you're on one or two ab mats. Same rules. You might be able to keep your legs extended far out in front of you, but shoulder blades are on the ab mats. Plate far back over my head and start opening up those shoulders. This one you wanna make sure you're trying to push your ribs down to the floor and it'll open up those shoulders there. Bam! Do your plate overhead thoracic spine stretch two to three times a week two to three sets of 20 seconds overhead, or what I like to do is five big deep breaths, trying to sink and relax deeper and deeper into the stretch. This stretch is not a fun one. It's not a comfortable stretch. Keep breathing deep through it. It'll start opening up that thoracic spine a little bit more. I don't know why you wouldn't do it, so plate overhead T-spine stretch, get after it.